Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome to the Flash Game Paradox, where I play Flash games that you have suggested and see if they've earned a spot in my Flash Museum before Flash gets the plug pulled on it in December. Uh, this comes from Modifier Robert, uh, and I guess we're going to do some learning today. It's Frog Fractions! <laughs> URL of the year edition, which is fun. Uh, I, I assume it's a learning game. Uh, so we're going to play some Frog Fractions. It Just out of screen, it says it's coming to Steam. So maybe... Th well, this game's already going to get preserved, I guess, because it's coming to Steam. But in any case, it's revolutionary. The absolute best way to teach your child about fractions. Thanks, Robert. I'm pretty good at fractions, to be honest. So let's play some Frog Fractions. Oh, wait. As always, we got to put 15 minutes on the clock. And we started. What is happening? What is this game? Wait a minute. All right. Just, just eat the bugs? All right. Stay away from my apples. Wait, how do I get the far apples? Get away from my apples! I want them or something. Can I move? Uh, all right, apparently we're done. Uh, choose an upgrade. Lock on targeting. All right. Road, what? Static cling tongue? Durian, upgrade the fruit to durians? Oh, okay. Oh, all right, all right. So the bugs are coming and getting the, the, uh, the apples. Okay. So explanation would have been great. Upgrade your lily pad to a turtle so you can ride him to grab the fruit off to the side. Okay. All right, this makes more sense. Anything your old frog brain can do this newfangled cyber frog brain can do better hey. what the heck is a zork mid what i wanted the turtle oh now we're doing decimals what does this have to do with fractions get away from my apple Yeah, I'm really learning some fractions right now. This is dumb. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this 50... Oh my god, this is getting insane. I was about to make fun of this, but... Get away from my apple! Alright, I wanted the turtle. I guess I can only get one. Alright, cool. Ooh. I'm gonna get... I want more apples. Give me... Give me your bugs. I'm gonna get get away from my apple. Oh, I missed now I'm missing the apples. This is the worst. Get away from my apple. Get away from my apple. Stop ruining my apples, you jerks. What did I why did I move the no? Oh. Apple. <laughs> No, this turtle's slow as hell. Well, it's a turtle. Get away from it. There are apples. My apples. What? I got filled with indignity? Okay. Wait, I can move up? All right, I guess up is good. <laughs> I'm closer to the apple. <laughs> Get away from it. I need it. It's my apple. You jerk. Yes. Apple. No. No. Oh, no. All right. So if I lose an apple to bugs, I gain indignity. No way. Oop. Pause somehow. All right. 
Everybody back off. Everybody- No! No! I will not be indignified! Stop it! Alright. Alright, I definitely need this durian. Alright. Yeah! I'll s yeah, now I don't give a sh- Then what a waste it was to get the durian! Well, I guess now it doesn't matter because... I have so much fruit. Get away. Get away from it. Get away from it. Even Despite the fact that I have like a billion fruit, I don't want these bugs to have it. Alright, so, now that I'm, I'm super smart. Alright, I'll do this. What? 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 Is this what static cling does? The. Hoot! Hoot! None. Noon. Hot. Well, now I can't move to get the other fruit. Yes, a dragon. <laughs> I'm a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> ah! Run away! I'm going to the sky! Screw all of you! Well, present! I missed the present! I probably needed it! Oh, I'm getting so undignified! I, I can't fire my tongue! Frog Fractions is no joke. Holy crap! How does this... Oh. Oh. Ah. Get away from me, you bugs. I hate you. I don't want to suffer indignities. There's so much going on. Get away. Stop firing at me. Warp drive. Uh, there's still bugs in their assholes! I can't... Does my tongue even work? Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, these rocks are in the way! Thank you, Lieutenant. What? They missed Abraham Lincoln. I, I can't do anything. This is impossible with a touchpad. Oh my God. Ugh. 
Damn, rocks are everywhere. Huh. Where is the mouse? Where is my tongue? Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. We'll see you on the other side. Thank you, Christmas tree. What is that? It's a snowman. Oh, hello. I didn't think this would turn into Ikaruga. Stop harming me. World's slowest dragon. Oh. I got. I got. Right, so I'm realizing that like, I keep looking at the dragon because it's got a big ass face, but I should just look at the frog. Because the frog is the hitbox. Doesn't seem to be a good idea. Yes. Die. Destroy the core. Okay. Wait. <laughs> You're really dressed for court. Be waiting. When you get out, I promise. Okay, Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You are accused of breaking and entering into a native habitat, Bug Mars, with the intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Guilty, not guilty. Amphibious. You're, you've got it all wrong, dude. My name's Mr. Leap. Has anyone told you you look delicious? Oh God, I'm surrounded by bugs. That, that last one seems very insulting. Um, I will plead amphibious. Huh, are you sure you don't want to <laughs> want a lawyer? These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years. Hard labor. <laughs> but there's a special offer this week. Oh, how would you like to become a <laughs> neutralized citizen of Bug Mars? Absolutely. I'd love to be here on Bug Mars. I've never heard of a buggy or Mars. You drive a hard bargain, I'll take the labor. I don't know. What are the hours? How do you feel about bribes? I feel it's just rich. I'm going to go with the bribe. How do you feel about bribes? You don't have a front pocket. I can see from here you aren't wearing pants. <laughs> here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Pestilence and sin doctrine, bugs, crushing our enemies, our powerful mandibles, protecting my precious space fruit from your goddamn gummy space bugs, your honor. Nah, I hate bugs, hate bugs. I'm just gonna go with bugs. A little bit on the nose, isn't it? Can't blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question. On a series of Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, vanilla cookie dough bug. Trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bugs because of its climate. I um, don't really watch reality TV, Your Honor. I do. I watch a lot of reality TV. I think they're in my hair. I can feel them crawling around. I'm going to go with trick question. <laughs> well, I had to try it, didn't I? Four score and 20 bugs ago. Bug in chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right? The right to bugs? The right to our own sentiment space fruit as slaves? Our own sentient space fruit as slaves? I, I can't talk today. It's terrible. The right to refuse to testify against your hive mind court 
Ooh. The right to parade around the courtroom in only your knickers. Uh, how the hell should I know I'm a frog? Or Oh my god, bugs everywhere. I'm gonna go with refuse to testify. Involuntary chirping notwithstanding, yes. During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? If I haven't asked this in a while, what is happening? Uh, enough to reach the ground? Uh, we don't know. They hadn't invented counting back then. 420! What? I swear they counted them twice. That's not just a pot joke. Uh, none. He didn't learn how to drive stick until after his divorce. His divorce. Man, I can't talk today. Uh, I I'm going to say he only learned, he learned to drive stick after his divorce. What a nasty breakup it was all over the tabloids for a month. Last question. I feel like I can't get this wrong. Uh, Mr. Hobbs, how do you feel about fractions? I uh, was told there would be no math in this exam. Oh man, I love them. Uh, they're an intuitive way to represent... There goes the timer, but we're staying in this for a little bit longer. Uh, they're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. Uh, I am actually learning slight leaning slightly towards scientific notations these days. I don't know. I've never really dealt with them. I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? I'm going to say they're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. Spoken like a true bug. I'm impressed, Mr. Hops. Yours is the first perfect score on our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun. But instead, we've decided to issue you a work visa. If you just sign here. Fist pump? Everyone loves novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Anka. Oh, I got a sign. This was our original logo. I just like the like super straight lines, but the problem was the D. Isn't it always the D? It just doesn't look right. Oh my God, we're still playing Frog Fractions. Oh my God, they're coming at us. Oh God. Oh, get out of here. Oh, God. What now? As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator Andre Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following Spend of a few forty local socialites. Fish! We eat you. We eat you up. Alright, whoop. We're going this way. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637. After seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down 
for the count in the parlance of our time. Uh, Mr. Mermaid? No, nothing I can interact with here? Mwah. Let's go. What is that? Oh, he got spiky. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He got all spiky. We're going deeper. Dive, dive, dive! While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few spoiled sports school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. <laughs> I'm learning about boxing. I, I don't feel like I've learned much about fractions. See if I surface somewhere else. Nope. We're going deeper. This frog can hold his breath for a while. Frogs do not have kills, so this is not. Do frogs have kills? No, frogs don't have kills. They have lungs. I, I feel like I'm getting dumber playing this game. Boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would drop the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. But it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Well, some Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. All right. Uh, I'm going to give this like a couple more minutes. And then I, I, oh. Cause I, I, I there's part of me that's like, uh, I, I've seen enough to make an informed decision. But I, I know for a fact that I have not seen everything that this game has to offer. On top of that, I didn't see anything to imply that this saves. Oh! Robo Mermaid. I love you as well. Sorry, am I blocking the TV? Am I blocking it? Am I blocking the TV? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if I'm blocking the TV. I'm so sorry. So this is clearly not what I expected. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. That's clearly someone's mouth making a rocket ship noise.
so now it's a text adventure. Okay. Okay. We got to go to the Flash Museum. We have to. But I'm going to leave this up and uh, we'll play more Fraud Fractions. If I can say those words. We'll play... Quiet phone. We'll play more Frog Fractions soon. Uh, but we still have to go to the Flash Museum and give this a spot. So let's go ahead and give this a spot. Let's go ahead and visit the Flash Museum. Right? Yes, here we are in the Flash Museum. Hmm. Frog Fractions. So I like that it's a trick. Because, uh, like, one game that I, I like, refuse to put in, in this is Scary Maze. Uh, but that was a big part of what Flash games were. Were like pranks. And this is really well made. Um, it really kept me guessing. I'm really surprised. I do want to keep playing it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to put this as a rotating display for now. There's only six spots right now for rotating displays. There's only six spots, so that's filling up quickly. Uh, but I might have to adem this since I'm going to come back and play more of it. But for now, I definitely want it in the Flash Museum. I just don't know if it deserves to be a permanent display. What do you think? Leave me a comment below as I plan to dive more into frog fractions and you might know uh you may notice that uh man i really can't talk today <laughs> you may notice that uh I currently have nothing in the queue so if you have a flash game that you think belongs in the flash museum or it's just a game you want to subject me to leave it in the comments below and be sure to join me every wednesday here on twitch for more flash game Thank you.